All right, it's uh, Monday, April 22nd. I uh, I get a lot of requests in, uh, at the hydraulic shop of uh, people wanting to rebuild hydraulic bottle jacks. Uh, I just wanted to go through this. This is my own jack, and I, I wouldn't take this to anybody. Uh, first of all, it's, it's kind of in poor shape and it was, you know, never taken care of. And I don't know that I even used it. I think I found it someplace and somebody was probably throwing it into junk. Uh, this is the main cylinder and I don't know if you can see it down in there, but it's a little rusty and pitted. And, uh, it wasn't well taken care of and most bottle jacks aren't. Uh, the problem with bottle jacks is, is finding the parts, finding the seals for them. Uh, I even had trouble today. I looked around, I, I couldn't find this. This is, it's three millimeter across, seven millimeter in the center. And technically it should be two and a half millimeter, but if you put a two and a half millimeter o-ring in this groove it doesn't stick out enough so i don't know what size it is they're they're just kind of goofy seals uh most of the hydraulic shops don't keep parts for these things a lot of them are made in china a lot of them are made in taiwan and they just make the seals they got an injection molding machine to make the seals whatever they want and uh nine times out of ten by the time the jacks junk they're out of business anyhow so nobody's going to keep seals for these things uh besides that most places uh you know 75 dollars an hour to uh a shop rate and, and it's probably that's probably minimal it's probably a hundred dollars an hour shop rate in most hydraulic shops and uh Heck, if they spend an hour on it, you can go buy a new bottle jack. I mean, you know, 39 49 59 bucks, you can go buy a pretty nice new bottle jack. So, uh, why bother? But anyhow, I wanted to show how this thing works. Uh, when I took this thing apart, and most, most anybody could fix one of these things if they just know what they're looking for. I took this apart. This was covered in sludge. Now, like I said, I don't don't know where this jack come from, but there was sludge in here and in here, and it was just heaping up over. When I took the took the reservoir off, this is the reservoir, and uh, when I took that off, the sludge just run down over everything. So it's no wonder. But the reason it wouldn't work. This little steel ball had come on out from underneath that little plastic flapper. And there's another thing. If that was ever broken, you would never find one. Unless you unless you had a machine shop and you could make parts or, or you know, machine parts and make pieces and make pistons and seals for these things. You're not going to get them fixed for what you can go buy a new one. But anyhow, I thought I could fix this one, so... Uh, yeah, that ball was rolling around in here. It wasn't, it needs to be underneath that little flapper. And that is the outlet check. And what this thing does is the plunger, this, this is the plunger, it goes on here. And as it goes up and down, it pulls, pulls oil out of this outer section, which is the reservoir. Pulls it up through, I don't know if you can see it down in there. Pulls it up through that ball. And when you push down on it, I can't get it, there it is, right there. It pushes the oil down through that hole and over through the galley. Pushes it up through this ball and fills the cylinder. And this is the cylinder. Uh, this is the plunger out of the cylinder. And as you pump it, it pushes this up. 
that's the cylinder this is the plunger drops down in here like that uh, I'm not gonna stick that together yet because I got to put some grease on it uh, there's a gasket in here that I suppose if you really needed it you could make it that's the old one there's a piece of plastic in here, and it's not really an O-ring, but it seals on this little taper here. It was it was compressed in there. Um, this is the cap. It sits on there. And this O-ring here seals on the plunger. just keeps the oil in. It doesn't really seal anything. It just keeps the oil inside the reservoir sits there like that the plunger comes up through it uh, yeah this little seal here is the seal that holds all your pressure and there again I don't know where you'd get that if that was broken this thing was going in the scrap pile but it did work somewhat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a punch and I'm going to seat that ball in there and I'm going to get that ball back underneath that flap and I'll bring it back. Okay, all I did is I took the punch and hit that so that there's a seat in there on that drill hole where that ball sits and that usually makes them seat good. Um, then there's this washer that goes in here, and I think it's an aluminum washer. There's another thing that you're not going to buy. You might be able to get some copper washers at a parts store. And that captures that ball. And then we need to put this O-ring on that plunger, and I need both hands to do that. Uh, we can screw this down in here. Now this was really tight down in there so I'm gonna have to tighten that up too. And I did take a... I chucked this in a little lathe and I took some emery cloth and went down through it and smoothed it up in there as best I could. I didn't you know hone it or anything but I just sandpapered it and anybody could do that it's not that it's not rocket science but uh, you know I had I had over an hour in this thing messing around with it cleaning it up and 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 washing it off and washing the grime off of it and uh, cleaning parts so uh, it doesn't really pay to do this but I mean if you had time and had a good bottle jack that you thought was worth repairing you could do this in your shop uh, all right I'm gonna put this o-ring on the plunger put the plunger in there and I'm gonna tighten this up in the vise and I'll bring you back all right I got that wrench down in there uh, yeah I just grabbed it with a pipe wrench because that's about all it is there's no flats on it no nothing uh yeah and then i got the o-ring on the plunger there is a little wiper seal there there again i'm not going to have a replacement for it and that plunger goes up in there with the o-ring on it there's a nice taper there and then this gets screwed down into there with the copper wa or aluminum washer now this is the inlet check the outlet check is down inside there and that's where that goes right there and I'll have to tighten that up because that's got a seal on the copper or the aluminum washer and then of course this this comes up over here uh, 
like that. And that gives you. I still have to tighten that up. Uh, yeah. Then the next thing is this plunger. And uh, put a little grease on that. I guess the big thing is is keeping this stuff clean. That's probably what screwed it up in the first place. But well, it must be doing pretty good. It's sealing up. So what I'll do is I'll open the release. And there again, there's a little rubber seal around that, which you're never going to find any place at a hydraulic shop. They're going to laugh at you. And all this is is a screw that goes down in there and pushes on another ball and lets the oil come back up into the reservoir through that hole. So then you tighten this up, and that's that. Uh, yeah, let me tighten this up here before I get too much further and we'll put the reservoir on. So hold on. All right, we got, uh, got the plunger in and I polished that in a lathe too. So it looks nice. Uh, but you would, you could hold it in a vise and, uh, polish it with some emery cloth. You don't really need a lathe to do that. Uh, I guess the next thing is the reservoir and that little rubber plug there is another issue uh, chances of finding them somewhere are hard to uh, yeah they're hard to come by I've had people ask for them it's just a rubber plug I don't know where you get them it goes down on here and seats on this gasket. And I don't know, I'm just reusing that because I suppose if it does leak, I know, I think I'm going to use some, uh, I think I'm going to use some RTV or something here. No, I'm going to use some gasket maker on that. Just because I can. And I don't want it to leak. And it's hard to do it in the camera. Anyhow, that'll give us a better chance of sealing it. And that's just, uh, I don't know, it's, perm it's made by Permatex. It's aviation. I don't know, rag stuck to it, but it's, it's Permatex something or other uh, for high pressure all right we're going to put this on here and we're going to have to turn turn this around here so So you can fill it back there in the back and got a little handle on it there so and then this piece here which has got this the rod seal and it's got a little gasket there I put some grease on it and there's really not much to these it's just that 
you end up with more time in them than they're worth. And nobody wants to pay you for your time. Okay, there it is. It's together. I'm going to uh, put a wrench on that, tighten it up, and I think I'm going to put some oil in it, and we'll see if it works. So hang on. I'll bring you back. All right, I'm just using an old Lucas bottle with a, with a squirt nozzle on it there, a little... Just putting a little oil in it, and I don't know. I don't even know what kind of oil it is. I think it's just old hydraulic oil from... Well, I think it is tractor oil or something. It's, uh... May even be, uh... Hydraulic transmission oil. It's pretty thin. Yep, there it is. Tell you what, I think I'm gonna prop this end up a little bit with a hammer handle. Mm, it's still full. All right, let me put the plug back in it. Mm. Yep, I'm gonna have to bring it back. There it is. Make sure this is tight. And now for the moment of truth. Oh, there it goes. Ha <laughs> ha. I guess time will tell whether it's going to leak or not, but. It's got hydraulic oil, and eventually it'll leak again, so. Mm, seems pretty solid. Well. There it is, for a couple dollars in O-rings, and... About an hour's worth of time. That's how you rebuild a bottle jack. Uh, like I said, nobody's going to want to do it for you. So, And what do you got to lose? If uh, nobody's going to fix it for you, you might as well learn how to take one apart and... Uh, yeah, you just unscrew it, pull it apart. If you lose the parts or lose the balls, you can always find little steel balls. At the hardware store. Try, you know, give it a try. So, I think uh, it's too tight. There we go. Yep, there it is. So I'm happy with that. So thanks for watching.